Hi. Today, we're going to be hearing the poetry of Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman. He self-published his first major work called Leaves of Grass in 1855. His poetry was new and exciting for people because he wrote with such passion and energy. His subjects were new to poetry too. He wrote about things that weren't typically written about in poems. He wrote about his admiration for the common man um, and the wrongs of slavery, for instance. He found life and beauty in everything around him and wanted to pour it into his verses. I'm going to read two poems by Walt Whitman today. The first one is called Miracles. Why, who needs much of a miracle? As to me, I know of nothing else but miracles. Whether I walk the streets of Manhattan or dart my sight over the roofs of houses toward the sky or wade with naked feet along the beach just in the edge of the water or stand under trees in the woods or talk by day with anyone I love or sleep in bed at night with anyone I love, or sit at a table at dinner with the rest, or look at strangers opposite me riding in the car, or watch honeybees busy around the hive of a summer forenoon, or animals feeding in the fields, or birds, or the wonderfulness of insects in the air, or the wonderfulness of the sundown, or of stars shining so quiet and bright, or the exquisite, delicate, thin curve of the new moon in spring. These, with the rest, one and all, are to me miracles, the whole referring, yet each distinct and in its place. To me, every hour of the light and dark is a miracle. Every cubic inch of space is a miracle. Every square yard of the surface of the earth is spread with the same. Every foot of the interior swarms with the same. To me, the sea is a continual miracle. The fishes that swim, the rocks, the motion of the waves, the ships with men in them. What stranger miracles are there? The World Below the Brine Forests at the bottom of the sea, the branches and leaves, sea lettuce, vast lichen, strange flowers and seeds, the thick tangle, openings and pink turf, different colors, pale gray and green, purple, white and gold, the play of light through the water, dumb swimmers there among the rocks, coral, gluten, grass, rushes, and the ailment of the swimmers, sluggish existences grazing there suspended or slowly crawling close to the bottom, the sperm whale at the surface blowing air and spray or disporting with his flukes, the leaden-eyed shark, the walrus, the turtle, the hairy sea leopard and the stingray, passions there, wars, pursuits, tribes, sight in those ocean depths, breathing that thick breathing air, as so many do, the change thence to the sight here, and to the subtle air breathed by beings like us who walk this sphere, the change onward from ours to that of beings who walk other spheres. <laughs>